This segment of Domarva Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. Last week, former WBOC anchor Paul Butler was on the show talking about his chronic kidney disease and the need for a kidney transplant. Now, he mentioned that one in seven people lives with chronic kidney disease. One in seven. It's amazing. March is National Kidney Month and awareness, encouraging screening, and early intervention is crucial to saving lives, and that is why we have Dr. Janet Pedro with us today. Dr. Pedro is a nephrologist and medical director for Tidal Health Nanocoke's Dialysis Medicine. Thanks for coming in this afternoon. Thank you very much for having me. Can I ask a stupid question? What is nephrology? What does is, what is a nephrologist do? Nephrology is a medical subspecialty focusing on kidney disease. So we take care of patients with decreased kidney function, acute kidney failure, chronic kidney disease, and stage kidney disease requiring dialysis or transplant. But we also take care of patients with abnormal urine findings, such as protein or blood, inflammation in the kidneys, abnormal electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium. So we do a lot of things. Whole yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we mentioned that uh, March is National Kidney Month. What's that all about? That's right. March is National Kidney Month. and communities across the country are focusing on increasing the awareness for chronic kidney disease. Unfortunately, it is a significant public health concern. As you mentioned, there's a high incidence of that. It's estimated that 37 million Americans have chronic kidney disease and 90% are not aware of it. Mm. That is amazing. Yes. Define chronic kidney disease. For me. So chronic kidney disease is a diagnosis that uh, a patient has abnormal kidney function for more than three months. And we base that kidney function on a blood test or a urine test. You can also have chronic kidney disease based on abnormal findings in the urine, such as blood or protein that's persistent, or abnormal findings in an ultrasound or CAT scan or MRI. So when someone is diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, does that mean they need dialysis or even a transplant? No, actually not. There are five stages of kidney disease, and the staging is based on the kidney function. There's stage one, which is the earliest. Stage five is the worst, and that's when we think of doing dialysis or transplant. There, there is a whole lot here. When you started peeling away the layers of the onion, I'm like, oh my goodness. And yes. So are there any tips that, that you could give us to help take care of our kidneys? Yes. So the first thing is diagnosis. Early diagnosis is key. So I would recommend, particularly those patients with high risk factors for kidney disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, family history of kidney disease, heart disease, and obesity, to have annual checkups. And it is simple, just an annual blood test called a creatinine that measures kidney function and an annual urine test for protein. That's the first thing. Other things that we can do if you have diabetes, control your blood sugar, because diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease. Managing blood pressure, goal for blood pressure is 135 over 85 or less. And eating a healthier diet, doing more fruits and vegetables and grains. Stop smoking, that's one thing that can uh, be helpful. Maintaining a healthy weight, mm -hmm. exercising. Of course, drinking lots of fluids, mm -hmm. that's a key thing. And stopping or limiting medications that can affect the kidneys, like anti-inflammatories. So if somebody wants more information on kidney disease, I'm sure there's a lot of it out there. Yes, and at Tidal Health, we have education <coughs> seminars on chronic kidney disease, and that's in Salisbury and in Seaford. And the National Kidney Foundation website is a good source of information for chronic kidney disease. All right. Good information indeed. Title Health Doctor Janet Pedro, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you very in. much for having me.